One of the easiest upgrades you can do to your camper RV is to change out the incandescent lights and put in some LEDs. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. My name is Randy and this is Go Midwest Fishing. So I just purchased this camper. It's a nice little 15 foot travel trailer. And the reason I got this is because when I do a lot of my fishing, I like to go back to those little primitive campsites where there's no electric hookups or anything. So saving battery power is very important. So that's why we're gonna switch out to the LEDs. And just the difference between the two, these have only been on a few minutes and I can barely touch them, they are so hot. And that just kind of shows you how much electricity they are burning. And uh, even though these burn less electricity, they're also brighter. So this is putting out uh, 450 lumens and these only around 200. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna switch one out we're going to go into the shop and do a bench test and put it, hook it up to the uh, voltmeter and see exactly how much less current one of these draws. So first let's just take a quick look around and see how bright it is with just the regular incandescent lights that come with this RV. There's a total of six of them. So under there, you got two in the ceiling here, one under the stove, and there's one in the bathroom back there. And uh, it's just got an on off switch so they're either both on or both off. And the nice thing about these new ones is uh, it's got a three position switch so you can turn on just one light or both or have them off. I got this pack, it's a six pack, it was uh, 60 bucks. Uh, I bought these because the only one I found in six packs. Um, usually they come in five packs for around $50. Alright, before we get started, just go outside, disconnect your battery cable so there's no power, unplug it from any outlets. Um, mine's all disconnected, so now it's just a matter of pulling off these lights and uh, clipping the wires. All right, these are pretty easy to take off. You just squeeze this lamp. You just pull them out a little and squeeze the sides. This one's kind of a pain, but there, just pop off. It's probably full of bugs. Do that to both sides, and you'll be able to access the screws to take it down. This one has four screws in it. So if you start pulling out of the ceiling, there should be some splices in here, some insulation, all kinds of stuff. Yeah, there's a, some wire nuts basically up in here where they splice all the wires together to go to all the lights. And what you have on the underneath here is um, got your black hot cable and then your white is going to be your, your ground. In uh, most RVs that's how it works, black for positive, white for neutral. And let's see, this one's just got a little thing you just unclip there, and then this one's stuck on there, so I'm gonna have to cut that one off. Snip it right there. Boom. There. Removed. Alright, here's the new light. There's really not much to it. A lot of there. See on the back side just comes with a little pack of uh, screws to attach to the ceiling. Now there are eight holes in here, eight screws, and these things are super light, so if you don't want to use all the screws, you really don't have to, depending on how many holes you want to put in your new camper. And uh, this comes with two pigtails. The white one's labeled ground, and the black is uh, the positive. So just pull these little sleeves off, and leaves the bare wire exposed. There we go. There we go. Now we just gotta strip the wires there and uh, put a wire nut on them. All right, and these lights are polarity sensitive, so if they don't work, you got it wrong, just switch the wires around and it should work just fine. So go ahead and just uh, hook them up with the old wire nut. There you go. That's all there is to it. Now I'll just take some uh, tape wrap it around there just to make sure uh, the wire nuts stay on and stays protected. Right here's a little closer look at what I did. I mean it's as simple as that. Just wire nut the two wires together. And these things are so light that it doesn't hurt to hang by the wires. And now I can just kind of shove these wires back up in the hole. 
Just like the other one to access the screw holes, you just squeeze the sides and the covers pull right off. And just make sure it's centered where you want it. Luckily these lights are a little bit bigger than the last one so they cover up the, the old screw holes and marks on the ceiling where it used to be. And just center it up where you want it, put a screw in it. Nice and straight. Let's put in the rest. The ceiling's not real strong, so try not to tighten them down too much or you'll just strip them out. Okay, right, let's pop these lens covers back on. That'll finish the job. I'm going to turn on the uh, hook up the battery and just test it out, make sure it works, and I'll be right back. All right, battery's hooked up. Let's just turn it on. See, so you go one way, turns on one light, go the other way, turns on both lights. Yeah, it works perfectly. All right, now I'm going to hook up all the rest, but before we do that, let's head to the shop, do a little bench test to see uh, how much power they draw. All right, we're in my shop now. We're going to do a little bench test here. I got my voltmeter hooked up to amps, and I got a 12 volt battery hooked up here so now we just gotta connect it and see what uh, it's gonna draw this is the original incandescent uh, lights that came out of the camper plug it in and voltmeter is reading right at about 2.8 amps which is quite a bit alright let's hook up the other one alright I got the new LED light plugged in now and let's see what that's running 0 0.46 which is way less the cool thing about this I can switch this to just run on one bulb which is actually about the same brightness as that with two bulbs it's going out 0 0.23 uh, amps alright here's the math 0 0.46 amps here if you times that by 12 volts gives you a wattage um, I calculated that out it's only 5.6 watts to run this with both lights on. If you only have it on one light, it's only pulling 2.8 watts, which is really hardly anything. Compared to this, uh, was it um, 2.8 amps is going to give you 33.6 watts. And if you divide that out, it's exactly six times more power to run this bulb it is to run this bulb and this one is brighter so it's pretty much a no-brainer all right just did the math if we have all six of these lights on at once the old lights are going to draw 198 watts uh, the new one only 33.6 which is uh, exactly the same amount as one of these i could run all six of these crazy because like I said it's six times more power in here so I can run six of these lights for the same uh, energy as I run one of these uh, if I only run this on one side so it's only got one light going 16.8 uh, uh, watts which you can run that a long time off one of these uh, RV batteries all right so that sums it up let's go back into the camper and finish putting them all in and I'll show you how much brighter it is in there all the new lights are installed, so let's go take a look inside and see what they look like. But first, let's do a before shot. Here's what it looked like with the old lights installed. And now here's what it looks like with all the new lights installed. Well, there you have it, a quick and easy way to upgrade your camper to use less power and give you more light. 
If you do a lot of camping like I do, where you're sit off the grid, go back in the woods, those little lakes where nobody is, you're going to have no power hookups and you have to rely on that battery. And this is a way you can uh, still use your lights and not worry about consuming your whole battery power. If you like this, you can see a lot more good information on GoMidwestFishing.com. All to do about camping and fishing. Also have the best lake reviews on the web there. Everybody, thanks for watching.